return to the Oscars, should we, after that gaffe over the final award of the night. Joining us from Los Angeles is the celebrity media trainer, Clint Arthur. Hello to you, Clint. Good to see you. Uh, what a mess. <laughs> what fun. Yeah, I'm not sure that anybody on stage at the time thought that it was fun. How do they start to recover from this and who should have done things differently? Well, first of all, Warren Beatty, I think, did exactly what Warren Beatty was supposed to do. And he had a very difficult circumstance. He was given a line and he read the line. The line said, La La Land, and that's what he read. So I don't think it was his fault. And I really La La appreciate Land. the graciousness of his mea culpa of going up there and explaining how that happened. OK, but it also said that it, uh, apparently on the envelope, because we could see it, it said best supporting actress. So should he be responsible for that? Should Faye Dunaway be responsible for that? Was it the person that handed over the envelope that's responsible for that? Or should PwC be kicked out the door never to be seen again? <laughs> he did the best that he could and Faye Dunaway did. You cannot imagine the pressure of being up there and having a line to read and then not thinking that it was the right line. It, it, you and I may have an easy time Monday morning quarterbacking that line, but I think Warren Beatty handled it as graciously as possible under very, very difficult circumstances. Then we go to the next, the next case, which is the producer of La La Land and how gracious he was when being told Here's your dream being ripped right out of your hands. And how, how that man was able to be as gracious as he was is astounding to me. Yeah, but I'm still going to go back to the point again, if I may, because I think that probably if I'd been given that envelope myself, I would have had a look on the front of it and it would have said uh, best supporting actress. And I might have given it back to the floor manager and said, are you sure this is the right one? or something like that. Um, uh, a lot of people on Twitter are, are being a little bit disparaging about these two, saying it's because they are uh, more senior and so they weren't particularly aware of what was going on. Is that fair? And if that is fair, they should have been better looked after, shouldn't they? They should have been better looked after. And there's, there's a lot of blame to point around, but the question is, how does a person handle the difficult circumstances and how does a person perform under pressure and i think that they performed rather well under extremely difficult circumstances okay what damage if any do you think it has done to the oscars i mean it, it's the big one isn't it the picture the picture is the big one it's the 90th anniversary next year um, people are always going to have that in their minds i think this was perhaps the greatest thing that has ever happened to the op. It made them more interesting. This was the wardrobe malfunction of the Oscars that's gonna be remembered forever. And I wouldn't wanna be the person who was responsible for making that happen, but as the person getting ratings for the Oscars, as the person who's going to be promoting the Oscars next year, this is, this is solid gold. This is the unknown. And television is always best when Things happen unexpectedly. Welcome to my world. Um, as far as Price Waters Coopers is concerned, do you think they will keep the gig? <laughs> that is a really great question. If anybody should be fired, it is, I, I think it's the person in charge of handing out the correct envelopes. That's the person who really made the mistake. Price Waterhouse Cooper, they, they did their job, but I, I don't know if they were the ones who had to hand the envelope to Warren Beatty. If they are the one who handed the envelope to Warren Beatty, then this is perhaps their fault. OK, a final thought. Why did it take so long for someone to say, actually, that was wrong? So the moment those two um, senior actors had done what they did, they let them all get onto the stage and then they started their speech and only then did someone come forward and say, ah, Soz, not you. That was a, a travesty. But again, these are unexpected circumstances and I don't know that there was a contingency in place for what to do in the event that someone was handed the wrong card. I, there should be a contingency. I'm sure that moving forward in the future, there will be a contingency. But last night, 
it doesn't seem like there was. To me, the funniest part was how many producers, like heavy set guys with microphones around their heads, were suddenly all over the stage. What were they doing on the stage? <laughs> Why did they have to go on stage? Uh, yeah, a bit late then, wasn't it? It's great to talk to you. Thanks very much indeed for joining us here on Sky News this afternoon. Thank you. Big thumbs up. Uh, and still to come this afternoon, uh, the award for best afternoon show goes to, stay tuned and find out.